In this tutorial, I will be showing you how you can make some cool Minecraft skin renders. This is taking a screenshot of your Minecraft player. And I'll be using Blender and Blockbench for this tutorial. And if you want to download these, link in the description to download. Yeah, I'll be covering three aspects. Blockbench, which I won't get into too much. Blender positioning, so like pose the model. And lighting, this is probably the most important part and probably why I am using Blender. Because Blender is actually really good at lighting like the skin and making the render of your skin look really nice. Let's jump straight into it, let's start with Blockbench first. So, you need to download Blockbench, link in the description if you want to download this software. So, you're gonna go on, not Minecraft tablet, you're gonna go, gonna go on Minecraft skin, create model, player wide, confirm. Then you want to go to import texture, down here, and then find your skin. There we go, now it's imported, and then you go tool skin layer, so you can see the outer layer. Go GLFT model, confirm. Now when you've got the file downloaded, you go to here, import GLFT, find the file. And when you found it, it should look like this. Now, I have already done a tutorial on how to import these GFT models, but it's just a quick reminder. You can go watch that video, link in the description to that video. It's a full video on how to import these GLFT models to blend, um, from Blockbench to Blender. But for now, we're just going to um, pose this um, model. So you want to pose it to the pose you want. So I'm just going to do uh, a funny look. There we go, I'm doing like some weird dance thing, I don't know, it looks like I'm falling actually. Um, so, here I am, I'm falling. Um, so the first thing you want to do after you've posed it, is you want to go to here, switch from EV render to cycles. Then scroll down till you see film, and on film, press transparent, and that needs to be ticked on. This will make it so when you go on the full render, it has a no background on it, so you can import it to whatever thumbnail you want straight away. Then you want to go to a file, um, select a folder you want to put it in, so I'll just put it in downloads folder. Uh, PNG format is probably the best, so just leave that how it is. Now, time for the real stuff, the lighting. So you want to go straight to this toggle here, where you'll see it's all pixelated. Now we, we're we mostly going to be working on this one here. This is the non-render, this is rendered. So make sure you, you are familiar with these little buttons here at the top. So you're going to press add, light, and then you're going to go area. And then you're going to spread the area out quite a lot. Now check that it's posing the right way but it's not so we're going to rotate it there we go so that is how the area light works you can see it's um it is lighting up the bottom of the um model so as you can see it's the bottom there so to adjust the lighting you can press this little button down here which is at the power so i can do like a really really big power but for now, we're just going to go with like 100 or something. Now, now a good thing to do is um, for lighting is if you've got a player, a Minecraft skin that is literally just one color. So, for example, I'm pink. Change the light color to your skin color. So, go back to this one. Select a color on my head. And I'm going to adjust it a little bit so it's a bit more brighter than it already is. And then I'm going to go back to here. So as you can see, it's giving it like a like a warmer feel. So now we've got the bottom light. Now we're going to duplicate this. And we're going to move the area light in front of the player. So now we've got a front view. Now we've got the lighting done, well, relatively done, you can still adjust this if you want. 
If you have a skin with multiple colors, then just do um, a white lighting. So just set this back to white as normal. But if you've got a skin with like one color, for example, like me, I'm just like a pink pig. Just set the color to pink or whatever the color is. It just makes it look like a lot more brighter, um, like a brighter feel. But that's um, just how I want it, really. Now I'm going to adjust the lights a bit more. So I'm going to add one more. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. Um, it's hard to see because it's like all pixelated, but you can always switch back to the view viewport shading. I think that's what it's called. And this is viewport. Okay, I don't I don't know what the names of these are, but this is basically non-rendered, um, which is what it is. So now we've got three lights here, which is showing all of that. Now we just need the camera. So we've got to figure out where the camera is by pressing this button. Yep. If you press zero on the numpad, if you're a keyboard expert, you should know where that is. Then when you're here, you want to go from, to, from view, navigation, go all the way down here, walk navigation. And now you can move the camera like this. So you want to adjust it. I'm going to do it like at a very top view. So this is going to be like me falling into an abyss or something. And then you can check on render. Yep, that looked good. And if you want an even better image of the render, press render image. So yeah, here it is. And as you can see, it's a good way of checking where there might be dark spots. So here there's a bit of dark on my arm, so I might want to fix that. So now what we want to do is we want to render the image, actually save it. So to do that, we go and set end here to one. Now we're not actually doing an animation, so we will only want one frame. So you can ignore all of this. We want to focus on frame one. So keep it on frame one. Then you go render, render am animation. And before you do that, make sure you, you've saved it to the place you want it to. So I've saved it to my downloads folder. And then press render an animation and it will render the first frame and the first frame only. And there you go. You have your first Minecraft render image. Now you can pose the um, character however you like. Um, I'm just using a block bench TLFT import, but if you want something more complicated, like um, a character with bones, you can do that. Um, I've never tried it because I just normally use the block bench Minecraft skin imports, but yeah. Now we're going to get on to the more expert stuff. So we're actually back here in block bench, which is another thing I wanted to show you. So you to So... In, on some people's pictures, you sometimes see like this exclamation mark or something on their head. I'm, sure, I'm going to show you how people do that. So all they literally do is you go, um, oh yeah, paint. So you go on paint, and then you want to select your color to a good color. So let's draw an exclamation mark like that. So there we go. We've got an exclamation mark on our face. So two exclamation marks like that. And now it looks like we're like surprised or something. We can do like a little dance thing. Um, so now we want to do the same thing, export and then GLFT. And you may already know how to do this. So export GLFT. When that's done, head back to Blender. And the best part about this is you can literally just delete this guy or you can try. And then you can import the new guy. So file import GLFT, GL, LTF, GLTF. And there we go. We've got a character with exclamation marks. And we can do the same thing. Render, render animation. Check that it's where you want it to save. And render animation. And this will render the first frame, obviously. Um, I'm just using Microsoft Paint as an example. I actually do use this for my thumbnails anyway, so that's good. As an example, I have all these renders from the intro of this video, all lined up here as numbers, um, which I'm not going to show in this tutorial, but if you want to do that, just do an animation and then export in PNGs in every frame. And I'm just going to do a demonstration. As you can see, it's not got any background. And I can put it in front of this just like that. So there you go. So yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial. 
If you have any questions in the comments, please leave it down below. I've been doing Blender for about a year now. I'm still not good. I I'm very bad at Blender, to be honest. But you don't have to be good or bad. This is just... Oh. Now, I've been doing Blender for about a year now. And I'm not that good. So, watching Blender tutorials helps me a lot. So, I, I hope this helped you. Um, as I'm still learning how to use Blender a little bit more. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching and hopefully this works out for you. Goodbye.